July 29th, Saturday, 145 Mountain Time, 2017. I'd like to thank Madison for sharing this photo with me yesterday. This is definitely one that makes you scratch your head when you look at it. and You're like, how is this even possible? And I've done some research on this and found out it's a strange phenomenon that takes place in the Gulf waters in the Gulf of Alaska. And it kind of makes sense, but yet, I don't know, it's open to a lot of different, I guess, interpretations. But the one I'm going to go with, first, it's not the Atlantic. I want you to know, if you see this, it's not the Atlantic Ocean and the, and the Pacific Ocean. It is the Gulf of Alaska. Um, I had someone try to tell me that it was a side effect of Fukushima basically saying it's the Fukushima effect and that it was radiation stemming across the Pacific contaminating you know the Gulf of Alaska and the entire Pacific Ocean but that wasn't true or at least it's not this visibly true I'm not saying that that was good for the ocean by any means but what you're looking at in a weird way is kind of good for the ocean um, no it's not the Fukushima effect yes this is the Gulf of Alaska and believe it or not, it is actually kind of good for the ocean. Um, it's glacier melt that is depositing not only minerals in the ocean, but an ancient form of carbon. It's not only happening in the Gulf of Alaska, but it's happening in Antarctica. And both poles are melting rather quickly. That's no secret. Here's a satellite view of the Gulf of Alaska, and that's a bloom plus glacier melt, and it's actually good for the ocean. But you've got um, two different types of water, the heavy, heavily uh, salinated water mixing with a heavy mineral fresh water, and it does take a while to blend, but eventually they do. But it's also happening in Antarctica, and the only reason sea level isn't being affected by Antarctica yet is because the ice is already in the water. So it's a neutral event. Once it starts melting off of the land, yes, then it can affect sea level. But if you see those pictures, maybe a video here and there uh, roaming around and it's titled Atlantic and Pacific, it would have to meet down here. I think the only other place it might meet is in the Arctic and it, and it wouldn't look like this, or at least not yet anyway. That's the Gulf of Alaska. Very, very cool image. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there.